Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm AKJ and Fee. Well, um, as you guys can see, um, I'm under the meter. Um, there is a wind over here. Um, as you guys can see, um, I'm under the meter. I'm under my car. Um, it's having a little bit, a little, um, a little problem. I might call it a little problem, but it's some kind, it's something big. Um, I'm having a problem with my control arms or the swinging arms, as you you might call it. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, um, as you can see over here, we do have our control arm over here. So, um, my problem was here. This bushing over here, where I'm, I'm having the ply bar underneath. This is why I'm having the problem. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see how it's moving. It's not supposed to move, but it's moving. I will get you guys very closer. Okay, over here. A little zoom. Yeah. It's not supposed to move that way. Mm -hmm. It's all the way tilt like I can't hold. Mm -hmm. Starting off I'm going to remove uh, the mod guide over here to have more uh, space to work under the car. So I'm going to quickly remove the mod guide and proceed um <coughs> uh, and, and proceed to um Remove the string out. Let's go ahead. But going ahead, um, we do have uh, the three bolts. This um, one over here, that over there, and the uh, the one at the ball joint that's heading over here, mm, underneath here. I'm going to um, give them a a clean. I'm going to clean them up with um, a brush metal brush I'm going to clean it this seem, that one seems to be big we use the small one a lot of dust around it This one is not all that dirty, but let's brush it. Brush the thread a little bit to clean some dirt so it might help the, the knot to come out freely.
Now I'm going to spray a little bit of uh, the WD-40. Um, this one is called Sweet Tool. It's like a WD-40. I'm going to spray. Mm. Going to spray um a little bit around it. The knots come up very easy. Perfect. Now I'm ready to undo those those bolts. Let's go ahead. Mm, I'm using um, this one is 18 millimeter spiral over here to hold the knot in place like this. At the back, I do have um, a tox a tox socket 18 millimeter. I'm going to use some my impact gun. <coughs> For the ball joint we do have for the ball joint we do have um 16 millimeter um spine over here with a 16 millimeter socket on the impact gun oh shit not coming off that easily so I'm going to hit it um, I'm going to hammer it
now the other now that every bolt is removed we are going to force it to come off myself with the power here we are the broken bushing over here well guys um i'm going to do the same to the other side i'm going to uh remove the uh, control arm out of the side um, but i'm going to do it off camera and um, then when it's time to install the new one i'll bring you guys back up um as you can see i'm having in my hands the um the left side of the um, uh, control arm as you guys can see um, the bushing over here is completely destroyed as well I am um, uh, like I thought the right one the passenger side was uh, pre messed up but um, I did good um, taking apart this side and it's pretty loose I don't know if the ball joints are good mm, I can repair them and use them but, but I'm going to replace them with new ones mm. like repair has to be done like by removing all the bushing um, it will be a, like a big job <coughs> they, they, they cost cheap so um, rather uh you have to like it might be good if you just replace them it's like i want to clean all the, all the surface i want to clean the place uh to fit the new one so we are going to clean everything up all the dirt or the mess over here to install the new one mm, I'm on the driver side um, where I'll finish removing it uh, it's the same as the passenger side where we started um, so we are going to go ahead um, to install it to fit it under the car hope you guys can see well yes I think you are there I'm going to fit um, this side this bushing over there Damn. it's not going easy I help myself with got to remove this plastic
button I'm trying to align the holes so that I can put the bolt on guys I recommend a new bolt to install the control arm uh, but as you guys can see uh, my mind uh, me myself I couldn't find a new bolt so I'm using the old one I just cleaned them up pretty well and I'm going to put them back on I'm putting um, this grease uh, it's a copper grease I'm, I'm putting it on to prevent prevent rust yeah I think I hear I'm not somehow alive Um, guys, I'll don't over tight it mm, because we have to put the ball joint inside. We have to install it. Mm, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, grease over here as well. I'm going to install uh, the the, um, the fastening bolt over there. <clears throat> uh, it's not going. It's not going.
Ja. Now we are going to tight um, all the fastening uh, bolt somehow tight. Mm. Well guys, as you can see, we have um, put on the fastener, the fastener um, both. Now we are going to um, poke them to specs and we are done. I'm going to get my torque wrench and we'll be right back. Now, um, as you guys can see, I'm talking to spec. Uh, here we have to tie to um, 80 Newton meter. <laughs>
a this is how to install um, a control arm uh, I'm down over here this is how to install a control arm now I'm going to clean like going to clean the uh, the brake discs as you guys can see over here um, we are we touch the surface with the grease the copper grease so it's dirty make sure you clean it or else you have brake problem then I'm using a brake cleaner so I won't have problem so now I'm going to um, like off camera I'm going to install the panel put the more guy over there and I'm done and well guys uh, if you did like the video if you appreciate the video don't forget to hit the like button um, subscribe for more and see you next time bye hold up